Copenhagen is preparing to host experts and world leaders next month to discuss how to prevent climate change. But while they'll be looking to put new restrictions on greenhouse emissions, not everyone in the scientific community is in agreement over global warming. Our T. Sean Thomas listened to both sides of the fence. After hackers allegedly exposed one of the most respected climate research institutes as having defrauded the world in regards to global warming, the shock subsides and the experts start to weigh in. Uh, the data, real data, over the last thousand, ten thousand or uh, million years shows there's no relationship between carbon dioxide and world temperatures or climate extremes. And now we can see that actually the people in charge of the data have been fiddling it. The email stolen from the University of East Anglia's servers reportedly shows that scientists have been manipulating data to support the theory of global warming. What makes this recent development so scandalous is entire governments have developed significant policy based on the idea that global warming is fact. The investigation into the validity of the damning cyber information is still ongoing, which has many in the green movement sticking to their guns. In history of... Uh human society, they never had such CO2 concentration as they have now. This is the main reason. And they have very clear studies of isotopic analysis and correlation analysis, that they have CO2 growth first, temperature later on. But now with confidence inspired by the infamous computer hackers, those against the idea of global warming have found a new forum giving weight to the opposite view. The temperature is not in any way affected by the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The more carbon dioxide there is, the better it is for humanity. And I will explain why. Carbon dioxide is like bread for green plants, so agriculture gains significantly if there's more of it. Now publicly included in the debate is data that suggests the world's average temperature has been decreased over the past seven years, calling into question the need for current carbon emission standards. The Kyoto Protocol is a bluff because it connects carbon dioxide and consumption. Every country has a limit of how many cars it can have and so on. That is total nonsense. Americans were right in petitioning everyone not to sign the protocol. And while opponents are declaring victory over what they are calling the global warming bandwagon, the scientists who believe in the Earth's rising temperature caution not to dismiss the idea too quickly. I especially take the special report prepared by Russian Academy of Science and Russian Meteorological Service. This report has even special chapter compared anthropogenic impact and solar impact, all other factors, clearly proving that current climate change is unfortunately anthropogenic. So while the debate continues, it is safe to say the theory supporting global warming has taken a significant blow. Sean Thomas, RT.